Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about autumn style, my favourite autumn styling pieces and just generally what I like to wear this time of year. So let's get stuck in. So where should we start? Right, okay. Hats, 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 hats. I like to wear hats in the summer. Actually, I wear hats all year round, but um, I do think that, you know, if you're going, going for that kind of, I'm keeping warm, cosy vibes, um, a good hat, a good strong statement hat can also can can make an outfit, it can make it, it can elevate it, but also it's kind of practical. So I am a big fan of the Baker Boy hat. I have been for a very long time. So I have Baker Boys in various different I've got them in black. I've got a black one in like a material. I've also got a black like leather look one. And then this is my most recent purchase in the Baker Boy field, which is this nice cream coloured, soft, very soft one that I got from H&M recently. Definitely give a, 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 like a retro look, kind of rock and roll as well. And I just wear it with my hair down, curly or tied in a, a loose or in a in a little bun at the back like that though I do feel that when I wear it like this I look kind of a little bit like I'm in Oliver Twist but I think you know get the hair right can look really cute the other hat that I love I've got this in black as well but this is like my summer hat but I feel like it can be brought through to this time of year is this one that I got from ASOS a few years back but this kind of, it's, it's not a fedora, but it's also kind of got a bit of a Western feel to it. I love this detailing at the front. I got it in black, it's just hanging up. This is more autumnal because of the color of it, but it also works well as a summer hat. And uh, I love it as an accessory, especially also if I'm having a bad hair day, this sort of like makes all the sins be forgiven. So I love this hat. Next is shirt, plaid shirt. Uh, this might be a bit of like a basic obvious option, but they definitely make a comeback more so this time of year for obviously the color selection is very seasonal and autumnal, but also just for the fact as they add a little bit of a layer, to wear they just keep the warmth in a bit more especially if I'm walking around the house and I'm sort of wearing comfortable clothing I might wear a little vest top underneath this or a band t-shirt but just to wear it around the house just love a plaid shirt I think that they are they're great I especially favor buying them from vintage shops because they already are quite soft and have that kind of like worn in feel to them and they're nice and oversized and they just look cool I just think the vintage ones just are a bit more but you can get them anywhere. They're in most shops now, plaid shirts. So I just love a plaid shirt just to add. Just because, yeah, look at it, look at it. I'm so, I'm so autumnal right now. I'm gonna hat on. Yeah, look, I'm autumnal, bitch. This is autumn right here. Um, and when I'm speaking of vests, so I have update, like I am a huge fan of like ribbed vests, high neck vests, cropped vests muscle style things. I have a bunch of these and I swear by them. Like I, I have, an abundance of them and they are good to wear on their own let's say in the summertime but when it gets cooler they're just good to wear underneath things like I'd wear it underneath this shirt for example wearing it underneath a jumper for a little little extra layer but yeah mostly under shirts or like as a layering piece and obviously I'll have some of it on show or it might be completely hidden away if it's under a jumper so I've got like black ones I have got this lovely recently got this one from H&M in this brown ribbed. I also love like thin long sleeved tops like this. So this is a ribbed one. This one was originally from, it was Inside Out. This is Stradivarius. Um, places like Stradivarius, H&M, they are so good for basics like this. Zara's good for them as well, especially like the vest tops um, and for layering pieces. And they always kind of stay around the sort of like 10 to 15 pound mark. Sometimes you can get them below 10 pounds, especially the vest tops. But these are good also because they're not too thick. They can be layered also, uh, especially more so towards like the winter. Stuff like this, I would typically wear underneath like a band t-shirt. Under a t-shirt, you've got your arms are still covered or any kind of t-shirt really, under a shirt. This is kind of heading towards when it gets a little bit more cooler. But yeah, it's not too, it's not thick like a jumper, but it's still like knitwear, ribbed, but it's still super comfortable and cozy. Another vest top that I, I forgot to mention is this one. This is also Stradivarius. See what I mean? Like, so they do a lot of the kind of neutral colors. So you've got your beige, you've got your black, you've got your browns. They often do them in khaki. And then if you're into your colors, they also do them in like pinks. My palette is very brownie, I suppose. 
brown, warm, this time of year. And I like it that way, it all, co all complements each other. Another favourite of mine for this time of year is my poncho. So this is proper retro, like if you're into this kind of stuff, that's cool. Um, this is from the Hippie Shape and it's a crochet poncho. And I wear this as a layer, it's cosy, it's high neck. I wear this over things just to swan around the house in, but I've also wore this on stage before. Very 70s, again, love the colors in this. It screams autumn, doesn't it? But that's a favorite thing to wear this time of year. When it comes to knitwear, I have quite a lot of knitwear and I don't know if I will probably buy any more knitwear this year. I mean, if something really stands out to me, uh, then I might do it. But my favorite pieces of knitwear that I currently have, I have this, this is ASOS Design and it's just this, oh my God, it's got a hole in it. Oh no, I'm going to have to get Sue to fix that. It's a high neck ribbed, a mixture of like a light cream and a beige stripe there. As you can see, it looks like this. So it's a bit roll neck at the top there and it's a wide. And I just think that this is really nice and cozy. Another one that I wear is this monkey one. This is uh, again, high neck. I always go for like, I love things that are higher up on the neck and have this sort of boxy fit to them. This is so cozy. I've, I've worn this so much that so it's really nicely worn in and soft. My other favorite jumper for this time of year I feel like I'm a robber. You know in Drop Dead Fred when they play burglars? This is my burglar jumper. It's gonna make some mud pies. <laughs> this is ASOS as well from a while ago, but I like this, like wear a jeans, pretty every day, easy going, but it's a pretty nice, like basic, essential. I'd like to kind of keep my jumpers also very neutral toned. Um, I have seen some really nice ones out and about, but I'm kind of like, I already have something very similar to that, so I don't need to buy another one. But they're like my favorite jumpers that I like to wear. Jeans have made a comeback, so obviously summertime, didn't really wear a lot of jeans, it was mostly shorts or cycle shorts or, you know, that kind of thing, it was just too hot way too hot this summer. I buy mine either, like, I think Asda jeans are great most of the time, like their mom jeans. They have a quite a lot of give to them. Also, new look Tory jeans, good, especially if you're a pear shape and you've got a little bit of ass, um, cause they also have quite a lot of give to them. It's best to actually go into shop, have a good feel of the ones that you like. And then if you want more of the same thing, then it's time to order them online. My friend just playing up. Um, so my Asda mom jeans that I love, these ones, they've got ripped knees. This looks good with baggy jumper. Feel a bit Kurt Cobain like in this kind of get up. I, I always roll up the legs on these ones though, because I'm sure and uh, I hate ankle swingers. So I like to leave a little bit of a gap. Also it kind of shows off your shoes a wee bit more, which is cool. I did splurge on a pair of jeans recently. I think they're about 60 pounds. Um, but they have been sensational and they are these wide leg Oliver Bonus jeans. I've worn them so much and they've got these really cute scalloped pockets there. But these are wide leg. They are very generous. Even these ones, which are my size, which is a size 14. Loads of room in there, which is fab. Another pair of jeans that have made a little bit of a comeback in my life. I didn't want to get rid of them because I just thought that they were so nice, but I was a bit self-conscious at like my tummy in them, but I'm totally over it now. Don't care how my tummy looks in them. So I've been wearing them a lot and they are, these are from Reclaimed Vintage. I know it's not real vintage. These are uh, zebra print jeans, mom jeans. Again, they are quite baggy. I think they look really cool. I roll them up as well. These are a pair of boots, fantastic. And they're a brilliant staple and they would go really well with a brown vest top or a black vest top or even a beige vest top with a belt, then some sort of shirt to wear on top to layer. That is how I would style these. By simplifying things and having sort of a bit of a uniform, so a pair of jeans or a pair of trousers, vest top, shirt on top or jumper on top, that has me done essentially for like autumn styling. These are from Monkey. I've worn them recently in a styling video and uh, they are a wide leg trouser with just a button. Um, they kind of got a bit of a balloon top at the top, which I'm not really the biggest fan of. When it comes to wide leg trousers, I just kind of want them to hang on my hips and just go straight down. Whereas because these have got pockets and a bit of ballooning at the top, it kind of does around the middle there. And I'm not the biggest fan of that. I really do. I do like these trousers a lot and I love the color of them and they are very, very comfortable. Then when it comes to shoes, in autumn, I will wear my Dr. Martin. So I either wear my Dr. Martin sh shriver boots or my Chelsea boots. Um, if I'm not wearing Doc Martin boots. Recently I've been absolutely going nuts for my Nikes. I made these on the Nike design website and I wear them around the house. 
I wear them to the gym from running errands. They are like the most me trainers you could possibly get. And then it's also time to reintroduce my Louis Vuitton shoes that I didn't really wear much in the summer because I don't think they're very summery shoes. But, uh, these are my favorite ugly shoes and they are designer. It's a bit naughty, but this kind of shoe, absolutely love them. Um, similar, Clarks do stuff that are similar to this. But this sort of style of shoe, really good for this time of year with some cute little socks. Could be worn with dresses, jeans. I love them. They're just, I think they're ugly, but I love, I love ugly things. Then lastly, when it comes to jackets, because it's not fully mega cold yet, like we're not in the depths of winter, I'm still into my shackets. This one, in, oh God, that smells good. What perfume was I wearing the last time I wore it? This one is by Faye London, but I think I got it off ASOS. This one's cool because it's black denim and it's got the stitching, which makes it like look a bit Western. It goes, what I like about a shacket is because they are kind of by default oversized and boxy. They fit over jumpers. They just add a little bit of extra layer, a little bit more of put togetherness and uh, they're great so I've got this black one I've got one in cream and I also have a leopard print jacket and they are perfect for layering this time of year um, or, or uh, oversized denim jackets lovely for this time of year or leather jackets lovely for this time of year oh, nice and oversized that's the kind of vibe I go for and then when it gets a bit colder that's when the big chunky coats come out and the knitwear comes out and the scarves and stuff even more layering going on there but that is kind of like my essentials for autumn time what I'm loving what I'm just wearing all of the time um, I will link things down as much as I can in the description most of these things I've, I've owned for a long time so they're probably not even available anymore but if there's anything there that is similar I can find I shall link you to it but yeah those are my autumn style essentials what are yours put it down in the comments and uh, I will see you soon bye bye